Hello everyone. Welcome back to our fourth module. I hope you all are safe and taking care of yourself at home. So today we are going to begin with a new chapter and the name of the chapter is The Great Escape. Dear children, please watch this presentation carefully, understand the chapter, read the chapter and do the exercise given below. Please be safe, take care of yourself and obey your parents. Thank you. Introduction This story is about a young girl, Dorothy, who gets carried away from her home by a cyclone. She reaches the magical land where she meets the lion, the tin woodman and the scarecrow. Dorothy, the cowardly lion, the tin woodman and the scarecrow were walking through the forest when they saw a ditch before them. It was a very wide and deep ditch with big pointed rocks at the bottom and steep sides. So dear children, Dorothy, the cowardly lion and the tin woodman and the scarecrow were walking through the forest. Okay, they were passing the forest when they saw a ditch. Okay, a ditch. What is a ditch? A long and narrow hole. They saw one hole there. So it was wide, it was deep and there was a big pointed rock at the bottom. What shall we do? asked Dorothy sadly. We must try and jump over it, said the scarecrow. I think I could jump over it, said the lion after looking at the ditch carefully. Now when they saw the ditch there, Dorothy became very sad. Who is Dorothy? Dorothy is that young girl. So she asked, now what shall we do? Okay, she was thinking how are they supposed to cross the ditch and go to the other side. Okay, so the uh, scarecrow said, I think we should jump over it. And the lion took a look and he said, I think I can jump. Then you can carry us all over on your back, one at a time, said the scarecrow. Now when the lion said that I can jump over this ditch, so the scarecrow told him, okay, you can carry us one by one and jump over the ditch. I am terribly afraid of falling myself said the lion but we must try so the lion said that I am very scared I am afraid that while I am jumping I may fall down I will go first if you cannot jump over the ditch and fall it would not hurt me at all said the scarecrow now the scarecrow said okay he told the lion that you are scared that you will fall down so i will sit on you i will sit on you and then 
jump and if I fall I won't get hurt. The scarecrow sat upon the lion's back. Then with a great spring the lion shot through the air and landed safely on the other side. So the scarecrow sat upon the lion's back and the lion jumped over the ditch and he landed safely to the other side. They were all very pleased to see how easily he did it. One by one the lion carried all of them and landed safely on the other side. Now the others were very pleased with the lion because the lion had courage and he jumped over the ditch. So one by one the lion carried all of them and landed to the other side of the ditch. After resting for a while they started walking along the road. Soon they heard strange noises from deep inside the forest. Now they crossed the ditch okay, and they started walking. While they were walking they could hear different sound, strange noises okay, from the forest. forest. The lion whispered, that must be the Kalidas. They live in this part of the country. What are Kalidas? Asked Dorothy. Now when they heard the strange noises, so the lion and they all started wondering from where are the noises coming. So the lion came close to his friends and told them that this must be Kalidas. Okay, so Dorothy asked the lion, What are Kalidas? They are frightening beasts with bodies like bears and head like tigers, replied the lion, with long and sharp claws. I am very afraid of the Kalidas's. Okay, now when Dorothy asked the lion, what are Kalidas? So the lion said that they are frightening beasts. Okay, what are beasts? They are monsters. So they are frightening beasts. Their body is like bears and they have head like tigers. Okay, and he said that I am very scared, I am very afraid of Kalidas. They came to another ditch across the road but this one was so broad and deep that the lion knew he could not jump over it. So they sat down to think what they could do. Now while they was passing the forest, walking through the forest, they saw another large big ditch. Now the lion took a look and he said, I'm sure I won't be able to jump over this ditch. So everyone sat down and started thinking what to do. How can we cross this ditch and go to the other side? 